What's going on, everyone? So Anthony Davis got a new contract, and he got the largest extension in NBA history. Made a whole video about it, dove into it, so we don't need to talk about that again. But one of the things I want to talk about is what this means beyond the obvious of we got him locked up till 2028, and he is now the franchise guy for the next five years, right? Look, he has to deliver. He needs to play his part. He needs to play his role. He needs to live up to that contract. I'm not saying he has to put up Wilt numbers, but he needs to be more consistent on the offensive end. You know, he was basically a 26 and 12 guy and stuffed the stat sheets, gave you just under three assists, one and a half steals, you know, two, two and a half blocks per game, right? He, he absolutely can stuff the stat sheet, but he needs consistency on the offensive end. But this guy is legit. A, when he's on, he is arguably the best player in the world. There is nobody else that can impact the defensive end to the level that he can, literally the best defensive player in the league, and still go give you 30-plus on any given night, dish out some assists, guard basically one through five if need be. You know, like, not saying that you want him to guard, you know, point guard or anything like that, but if he gets stranded on an island, he's shown the ability to hold his own. He's a top three big man, no doubt, right? Like, this guy is legit. But he definitely got paid to be basically the best player in the league, and he needs to start showing those signs. But it's more to it than that, right? So LeBron, he is getting into his end, right? Whether he leaves the Lakers and goes and plays with his son or he just retires or he just, you know, goes back to Cleveland for a year to retire a, a Cav or something like that, right? Whatever he decides to do. We very likely have him for year, maybe two. I don't think it'd be more than three years. I really don't. I think LeBron, depending on what happens with the Lakers this year, I think LeBron stays. If the Lakers win the championship, I definitely think he stays. And I could see him kind of restructuring his contract in order to, because again, he has a player option. I could see him kind of restructuring that to maybe kind of make a push to go win number six. Or if they come close, like let's say they make the finals or they lose in a tough seven or something like that. I could see him like, okay, we're a piece away, kind of doing the same thing. But if the Lakers are like a first, second round exit, um, or they end up getting like swept again or something like that in the Western finals, I think LeBron probably leaves. Um, but... I wouldn't be shocked if he stays out for at least next two years. Here's the thing. What about post-LeBron? Now, Anthony Davis is our star. He's our guy. He needs to start showing that. He needs to start showing he is the guy, right? Without a doubt. He needs to show that. And then you look around the rest of the roster and you're like, okay, like, you know, you got Austin Reeves, Max Christie, Jared Vanderbilt, Rui Hachimura, Anthony Davis. That's a really good starting five. Most of those guys were our starters that led to the Western Conference Finals, right? Cool. Totally okay with that. They're all going to play big roles. Uh, I think Rui especially really emerges once LeBron's gone because I think he'll get more of the opportunity. Jared Vanderbilt should continue to grow, develop. He's already one of the best defensive players, one-on-one -on -one defenders, perimeter defenders in the league, point-of-attack defenders, all of that, right? He is ridiculous. And Austin Reeves should only continue to be more consistent, more comfortable, and just better out there. Max Christie, the sky's the limit for that kid. That kid, who knows? Kid could be the best player in the league in five years or just like an all-star or just a role guy. We'll see. We'll see where that goes. But I definitely think he's going to be a baller. And then, of course, Anthony Davis is Anthony Davis. But the idea of Lakers have a star. They have a really good core. Another star post-LeBron wants to come. That is a real possibility, Right. You throw out a Luka, a Giannis, a whomever, right? And people say, oh, there's no way. People said the same thing about LeBron. People said the same thing about Shaq. People have said the same thing about every time a big name player comes to the Lakers. Oh, Lakers are delusional, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, it's still LA. At the end of the day, it's still the Lakers. That name still weighs a lot. But the fact that they gave Anthony Davis the contract that they gave him with a real, I mean, there's a real question of like, should they have given him the contract? And a lot of people are very divided in that, right? There's a lot of people that just think they shouldn't have given him that much money. And I get it, right? He's, he's a guy that's going to miss 30 games a season. I don't really care about that. 
I care about him being healthy in the playoffs and showing that he could play in the playoffs, which he has up until this point, right? He's showed that this upcoming playoffs. I'm not talking about the previous years. I'm talking about this playoffs. He did that up until this point, right? So that's good. But his contract was more than just that. Just like the Lakers gave Kobe Bryant the max money when there was no reason to do that. And look, I'm a diehard Laker fan. Kobe, well, I mean, that was our, you know, our deity, right? And he was just the, he was the epitome of a basketball guy, right? Like we as Laker fans, he is, he is Mr. Laker. He is Mr. Basketball. For He was many people's Jordan. He, I mean, he's everything. But at the time that they gave him that max, it made zero sense from a basketball standpoint. It made zero sense from any standpoint other than showing face to the rest of the league. Showing that, hey, we take care of our own. Because even from a business decision standpoint, he wasn't going to get a max anywhere else. Coming off Achilles, not the same guy he was towards the end of his career, year 20, like, kind of stuff was the app. Somebody have given him quite a bit of money? Probably. Somebody probably would have given him quite a bit of money to go play with them just because. But one, Kobe probably wouldn't have left at that point. Two, he probably would have taken a discount if you could have. And you still would have had the same business, still would have made the same amount of money, all that stuff, right? But it was more than that. It was to show you take care of us, you're a star, you put in the work, you you the Lakers is a brand that you can rely on, right? You take care of us, we're gonna take care of you. Kobe Bryant is one of the most beloved players in franchise history, maybe the most beloved ever in franchise history, right? And he's a guy that delivered five NBA championships. He's a guy that means so much to Lakers Nation, means so much to this organization. When you build that resume with us, we're always going to take care of you. And you know what that did? That led to LeBron James coming to the Lakers. That was a big part of it. If the Lakers would have basically thrown Kobe under the bus or they would have tried to nickel and dime him or whatever, who knows if LeBron goes to the Lakers. He didn't go to the Lakers for basketball decisions. He did it. Because there were other teams that were much better, much prime, much ready to help him win multiple championships. He might have won multiple championships by now, depending on if where he went. And there were a lot of teams that would have gladly have taken him and he could have gotten max money. It wasn't about the money it was about, right? It was about the platform. It was a place he could go, become a billionaire, start focusing on life after basketball. Lakers, you know, are going to do whatever it takes to win an NBA championship. But also, he knew when I'm at the end of my career, the Lakers are going to give me my money. You see players towards the end, when they start getting into like their, the star players, start getting into like that 30 age, all of a sudden, they start looking at the Lakers because they know I'm still young enough to go there, put a championship team again around us, we win a championship, and I know towards the end of my career, when I'm not the same guy, the Lakers are going to take care of me. It's what this is, right? Anthony Davis, he's injury prone. He disappeared at times. There's a lot of questions about Anthony Davis. Just like there were a lot of questions about why in the world did they give Kobe Bryant all that money? Because it's for the next star, right? And LeBron got that. They gave LeBron another max, gave him a two-year max extension. He got a one-plus-one deal. And you know what? If LeBron opts out and wants another one-plus-one, guess what the Lakers are going to do? They're going to give him another one-plus-one max. Even though he would be 40 years old, year 22, all of that stuff, doesn't matter. Because it's for the next guy. That's what that is for. And that's something that I think people need to grasp and understand. You know, all these people that are really kind of, oh, Lakers this, you know, I can't believe they did that. It's not just for Anthony Davis. One, what other options are there? Two, how many players are that much better than him? And three, you don't think that that's a message to other stars? Come here and we'll take care of you. You know, you don't think, Guys are looking at that and going, oh man, like it, it's what the Lakers have always done. They take care of their own, right? Like 
unless it's, you know, a Shaq and Kobe feud where they have to decide, <laughs> they've always taken care. They've always paid the guy late in his career if they wanted to, or if, you know, if the player wanted to, they always attract the new star. It might be a year, it might be two, but look, you don't think that there's other players that are looking at Anthony Davis and going, man, you know, you got, you got Anthony Davis, you got Austin Reeves, you got Rui Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt, right? If Max Christie starts becoming, turning into something or, you know, a Shafino or a Lewis or whomever, right? Oh man, they got like legit, like eight, nine guys deep. That's not even counting if they can like retain Jackson Hayes or all these other guys. They're young, they're talented, you know, it's L.A., they got another star in Anthony Davis. You don't think that there's other players that would look at that and go, man, I could win a championship with that. LeBron's gone, they got the money. I could I could go there and win an NBA championship. You Like, of course there are. The Lakers did this for tomorrow, not for today, if that makes sense, if you get my point. right? They did it because of what it means for the organization, show face, what it does for the stars, the message it sends to other stars, and starting to put the pieces together for the future. And you, at worst case, you have him locked up, and there are teams that would absolutely trade for him right now, and you could get an absolute haul. And at least you have him under contract for the next few years. So if for whatever reason it doesn't work out the way you want it to, at least you could trade Anthony Davis. There are a lot of reasons the Lakers made this move beyond just like, hey, let's retain Anthony Davis. Obviously, they want to keep Anthony Davis. They like Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis helped win an NBA championship here and very likely could help win one this year. But it's more than just, oh, let's just give let's just give Anthony Davis a bunch of money. No, it's it's for again tomorrow. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. How do you feel? Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Do you think that no, it doesn't matter? Um, you know, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below.